So it's pretty sad when you wake up on the news. Wake up on the news. Let me start all over. It's pretty sad when you wake up, turn on the news, and hear bullshit. First of all, they found some guy's body in the middle of the street, cross the street from the school. That's fucked up. School's on lockdown. So as the news progresses, they pop up with another story about school. Brace yourselves because this shit, this shit is going to blow your motherfucking minds. Well, good morning. That parent said that she is concerned about what she calls inappropriate uh, subject matter here at the Ringgold Elementary School in Hayward, and that's one of the reasons why she's keeping her child out. Specifically, she says the subject matter today, she's learned that students are supposed to learn about lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender issues. Did you hear that? This is in school, folks. School. Now live from Hayward with that story, Christian. Well, good morning. That parent said that she is concerned about what she calls inappropriate uh, subject matter here at the Ringgold Elementary School in Hayward, and that's one of the reasons why she's keeping her child out. Specifically, she says the subject matter today, she's learned that students are supposed to learn about lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender issues. Now, that parent said that she learned about the curricula recently, and she says it is inappropriate to teach to young children. Uh, she says that uh, it is coming from one classroom in particular, and this morning we spoke with that mother, who again, keeps her daughter out of kindergarten today kindergarten bring it back kindergarten kindergarten that parent said that she is concerned about what she calls inappropriate uh, subject matter here at the Ringgold Elementary School in Hayward, and that's one of the reasons why she's keeping her child out. Specifically, she says the subject matter today, she's learned that students are supposed to learn about lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender issues. Now, that parent said that she learned about the curricula recently, and she says it is inappropriate to teach to young children. Now, she says that uh, it is coming from one classroom in particular, and this morning we spoke with that mother, who, again, keeping her daughter out of kindergarten today concerned about that subject matter. I don't think it's appropriate. Why are we teaching this? Where are our tax dollars going? These children, just like our parents and grandparents said, our children are our future. Why are we waste doing this? Now, we have been trying to get in contact with school officials about this subject since yesterday and so far have not heard back. Now, again, that mother told us that she is keeping her child out of school, and she also told us that she heard as many as a dozen other children may be kept out of school as well today. We are working on this story, and we'll bring you updates as soon as possible. For now, we are live in Hayward. Christian Kafton, KTVU Channel 2 News. Christian, th Christian thank you. Um... I am at a complete loss for words. I am lost. See, my son is 16 years old. And we talk. He does not remember ever, ever, ever being taught anything like this in school. And he's 16. He's been to kindergarten already a long time ago. What did the lady say? Is this what we spending our money on? Is this where our tax dollars are going? No. Wonder how people in the gay and lesbian community feel about this. So those of you who are out there who may be watching this show this episode, this video. Let me know how you feel about gay, lesbian, homosexuality stuff being taught. Transgender, transsexual, bisexual, in kindergarten. 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 Little kids still pee on themselves in kindergarten. 
The little kids still have mistakes and poop their pants in kindergarten. Some kids may still even be in diapers in kindergarten. No, wait a minute. No, you can't be in diapers in kindergarten. I'm tripping. But now listen, you get the picture. You just learned how to walk, and now somebody's telling you to, you know, kindergarten. In kindergarten. One more time. One more time. And if there's any moral to the story, it's just that America is teaching kids not to have any morals. It's all fair game now. This discovery is part of growing up. You know, finding that girl you like and, and you flip out when she leans over and gives you a kiss on the cheek. Discovery. Finding out what you want. Finding out on your own what you're going to become. Finding out through the human process of who am I, what am I, what do I feel. Discovery is learned. That parent said that she is concerned about what she calls inappropriate uh, subject matter here at the Ringgold Elementary School in Haverhill. And that's one of the reasons why she's keeping her child out. Specifically, she says the subject matter today, she's learned that students are supposed to learn about lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender issues. Now, that parent said that she learned about the curricula recently, and she says it is inappropriate to teach to young children. Now, she says that uh, it is coming from one classroom in particular, and this morning we spoke with that mother, who, again, keeping her daughter out of kindergarten today, concerned about that subject matter. I don't think it's appropriate. Why are we teaching this? Where are our tax dollars going? These children, just like our parents and grandparents said, our children are our future. Why are we waste doing this? Now, we have been trying to get in contact with school officials about this subject since yesterday and so far have not heard back. Now, again, that mother told us that she is keeping her child out of school, and she also told us that she heard as many as a dozen other children may be kept out of school as well today. We are working on this story, and we'll bring you updates as soon as possible. For now, we are live in Hayward, Christian Kafton, KTVU Channel 2 News. Christian, thanks for the updates. 832 now, and a teacher from Gilroy. Uh, Gilroy High School, rather, is under investigation this morning for allegedly pushing and slapping at least three students. Police say all three incidents happened in the past two weeks. The teacher's name's not been released. The Gilroy Unified School District is reportedly cooperating with police on the investigation. And the hits roll on and on and on. And there's a new report out this hour that may offer some discouraging news about your child's education. The Children's Advocacy Group, Education Trust, says that one in four students is likely to drop out of high school. Under the No Child Left Behind Act, schools are required to meet certain graduation goals. But it's the state that sets the standards, not the federal government. The report suggests that the high rate of dropouts may be due to states setting those standards too low. 8.33 in the East Bay this morning, Alameda County Sheriff's deputies are searching for the criminals responsible for shooting and killing two parade horses. There's never any good news. Now these horses that were killed, this man used these horses to make sick kids feel better. He took them to the shelters where the, the kids are and showed kids some farm life. Kids getting slapped around by teachers. Teachers teaching uh, sexuality in school. Life is bleak, people. Wake the fuck up. Oh, yeah. There's one thing I forgot. Oh, shit. You've been tubed. 